hi all today we are looking at uh, the analysis and summarization of a study by permal murgan um so uh, this one is translated by nandini krishnan and uh, copyright uh, was taken in the year 2020 and i'm following the same uh, edition of uh, the copyrighted edition uh, issued in 2020 this is a translated work that is one and uh, the multiple videos of interview interviews and analysis about uh, the work by the writer himself you can just go uh, through that in youtube now what is this story all about uh, to just say the story is about man and technology and impact of technology on man and relationship of father and son it also talks about uh, addiction to mobile phones it talks about generation gap uh it you know dwells dwells with a lot of psychological aspects and the language you check on is monosyllabic is disyllabic and quatersyllables used by the writer uh, there's a foreword uh, in the in text the story of the novel's faithful progress uh, what is i catching in the foreword is this that Paramal Murugan states that uh, he has dwelt with Asuras and the Asura Kulam. I think this one was published or work uh, post uh, the uh, called the writer was dead. So uh, this is all Asuras throughout the text, uh, which is something that we must think about and. Um, moving on to the chapters and characters there is 40 chapters throughout the text uh post to which we have an acknowledgement which i would also discuss about uh, and uh, it also has characters of uh, both male and female a uh, female character is manga asuri uh, who is uh, kumar asuras or the protagonist's wife Uh, we don't have a lots of female characters male characters we have the protagonist Kum- uh, kumarasura we have megas kumarasura's son we have kumarasura's three friends who are kanakasura tenasura and adigasura and we also have perasura kumarasura's father a bit coming in between and we have kumbhas who is a clerk in kumarasura's uh, office who also assists kumarasura uh, to just make a note on kumarasura was a government employee and then government employment was one celebrated profession uh, i think even today for the matter be we also have kandasura who is a tea boy who, who kind of supplies tea who kind of gives tea and we have a small bit and pieces about uh venjurer who is kumarasura's relative in page number 32 so that is about the characters both male and female characters now let me uh, get into the text so chapter 1 is about uh, arrogance of children like you know there is this conversation uh, between uh, uh, kumarasura and megas and what are those elements uh, or the concern of a father how we calls his son ayya ayya uh, after every sentence is after every question he uses so in page number 2 there is a chronology of questions that he asks there is approximately seven question that he asks uh, is mentioned and kumarasura's morning walk is discussed you will see kumarasura's morning walk coming in between uh, other chapters as well and we also get to know that kumarasura is a poet kumarasura is a well known poet amongst uh, the group of people or in the society that he lives in there is a lots of talk uh, or narration about the vadai uh, that 
uh, people have during their morning walk and you will also see in page number 7 that perumal murugan uh, uh, perumal's uh, women are dominating uh, you know in page number 7 we also get to know kanaka surar uh, kanaka surar uh, who is kumara surar's friend uh, who has two daughters okay and you will also see one continuous layer of humor in all the text or specifically novels of Perumal Murugan throughout uh, in page number 9 where he employs humor and uh, in page 11 you will get to know about the terms like Facebook and WhatsApp so that's about chapter 1 so chapter 1 uh, you know throws light on father and son conversation something to do with the character Tena Surar uh, Kumara Surar's friend and we get to know technology uh, here and there and clearly stating Facebook and WhatsApp. In chapter 2 we get to know uh, the generation gap between uh, between the generations uh, generations and how Kumara Surar hates movies movies or social life. He's not a kind of person who socializes unlike his other friends and uh, there is also a story of uh, a civil servant uh, we get to know how father keeps this conversation a conversation restricted so when it came to the conversation between father and son it was restricted whereas when you see kumara surar's wife who is manga suri and megas discussing they discuss a lot of things there is free flow of thoughts uh, between the two or emotions between the two and you continuously get to know how responsible is Kumara Surar as a father. That is about chapter 2. Chap coming to chapter 3, chapter 3 is about the demands uh, the children have on their parents and how uh, how is that suitable in reality. Uh, and we also get to know the middle class mindset. Uh, and I personally don't think Perumal Murugan has dwelt with a serious cast uh, in this text uh, in particular history uh, but in page number 23 there's a mention about cast uh, of just four five lines uh, I would not stress more on it because I personally did not feel Perumal Murugan has stressed on cast and uh, in page 24 we get to know how the father panics and we get to know the conversation between father and son on new mobile phone like you know the son wants new mobile phones and this uh, and things like that so uh, this chapter chapter 3 is a chapter about the shock kumarasura received over the phone his son had asked him to keep around 5000 rupees uh, to buy a gadget and Kumara Surar Kumara is completely blank about, he kind of does not understand why a person or why a student uh, requires such costly mobile phones. Keeping it aside, moving on to chapter 4, in chapter 4 we see Kumara Surar has anxiety, uh, he talks about uh, marriage, uh, marriage and uh, how is marriage linked to the financial independence? We also get to know that Kumara Surar wasn't sleeping properly. We get to know the relationship between the father and the son. We get to know how demanding is life of a man in particular. Like the uh, like the wife has certain demands from her husband. And all that all those financial crises that a man a father uh, or the karta of a family had to face is all discussed in chapter 4 moving on to chapter 5 in chapter 5 it is the continuation of the same and we get to know uh, uh, we get to know about the birth and schooling of Megas and we get to know what Mangasuri want, uh, want him to become uh, like Mangasuri his mother wants him to become a doctor and he was interested in computer science so the son was interested in computer science and in chapter 6 we get to know uh, uh, something about the school schools as business how schools run as business 
uh, when i was reading this particular chapter chapter 6 uh, in page 41 i could kind of relate it with the race the recent movie of dhanush titled varti where the young teachers are asked uh, to go to schools and train the students uh we get to know about the schools a lot in detail about the schools uh and uh, the kind of to- uh, tortures uh, in particular schools uh, which happen there's a lot of hustle in a school and megas had to return back home so uh, in chapter 6 we get to know that megas is done with his class 11 and 12 and then he returns back home in chapter 7 we get to know uh, the work culture of uh, kumarasura and this place uh, this government uh, 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 firm or this government sector does not have manpower this lack of manpower and we get also get to know kind of man and work uh, connection and also man and technology connection i think even today most of the works in government sectors i'm not taking sides i'm from my critical analysis or critical point of view uh, in government sectors work go slow uh, especially when it comes to technology uh using technology i think many government uh, employees or most or few of the government employees lack technological knowledge uh so they don't know how to work on it so you get to know that image of uh, kumarasura in chapter 7 and in chapter 8 we get to know that megas uh, is teaching his mother technology and we also get to know how stressful is uh, fatherhood as well and how mobiles in the present generation are uh, uh, we also get to know in page 65 when megas and mobile phone megas is ad- ad- addicted to mobile phone there in bitten pieces he starts clicking photos of his mother you kind of get details of the relationship between the son and the uh, son and the mother in chapter 8 now this again i can kind of correlate with sons and lovers by dh lawrence and kind of you know we can go with a detailed research there or a comparative study there moving on to chapter 9 in chapter 9 this chapter talks about the tensions around admitting megas in a college and uh, how buses offer discount to the traveler so we see that happening in this chapter and uh, we also see uh, how symbolic is the uh, bridles uh, in colleges how colleges offered bridles all right we also get to know how uh, you know megas and his father start hunting colleges the best colleges possible uh, and you know this page also talks this chapter also talks about megas and his interest you see he is not interest to pursue medicine uh, whereas he is interested to get into engineering uh, in particular computer science he, he wants to get into computer science in chapter 10 this chapter is a journey of kumarasura and megas to the other engineering colleges while in the crowd was shown a video of robots controlling the students when it comes to discipline you know so you see in chapter 10 that there, there are robots which control uh, control students uh, or discipline students in this chapter so that's about uh, from chapter 1 to 10 thank you